there is a new feature that Samsung has introduced in One UI 7 and it is called Nox Metrics. Uh, this is something that keeps your devices safe and lets you know if there is any breach or anything like that and you can access it in security and privacy and then in here you will see this option security status of your device. Go in here and here you can read about it. Nox Metrics monitors supported devices sign into your Samsung account using a secure private blockchain. Each device can check the security status of other devices and let you know if there are any threats. So here you can see that there are no threats found on my Galaxy Tab, but it's also telling me about the status of my Galaxy S24 Ultra where there are no threats as well. Another very important feature which is related to the privacy and safety of your device is in lock screen settings. So if you go in settings and go in lock screen, and then go in secure lock settings, you will see this option called lock network and security. So what this basically does is that it will prevent Wi-Fi from being turned off when your tablet is locked. For example, if it's stolen and your tablet is locked, they cannot turn off the Wi-Fi. Why this is important is because Find My Mobile uses this connection to locate and control your tablet when it's lost. And then we have auto factory reset. So after 20 incorrect attempts to unlock your tablet, it will reset to factory default. And this is also very useful to protect your data in case it's stolen. Samsung also includes a very specific feature in One UI that protects your Wi-Fi. You can access it by going in settings, go in security and privacy, and go in more security settings. And here you will see this option called secure Wi-Fi. Go in here, and here you can basically protect your Wi-Fi. And a really cool feature here is that Samsung provides a built-in VPN service and it's really cheap. So the first gigabyte is free. So here you can see that it's all used up, but you can go in here and you can read about it. So there is enhanced privacy protection. You can get enhanced privacy protection that routes your network traffic through two separate internet relays. So no one, not even Samsung, can link your IP address to the sites you visit and the services you use. So if you go for upgrade, you'll see that one month is only $3 and the first month is a free trial. So you can go for that. And if you're in a pinch, there is a 24 hour unlimited option as well. But then there is another feature that I want to talk about, which is auto protect Wi-Fi. Go in here and turn this on. Now here you can do three things here. You can go for adaptive protection. So this will adjust the protection level automatically based on the Wi-Fi networks you are connected to. You can select public Wi-Fi protection only. So this will protect your Wi-Fi connection when connected to an unsecured or public Wi-Fi networks. And then there is DNS protection only. What this does is that this will encrypt DNS requests while connected to a Wi-Fi to protect your privacy. So this is up to you. You can go for adaptive or public Wi-Fi protection or DNS protection. Samsung also allows you to encrypt your data on this tablet and you can do that by going in settings, go in security and privacy, then go in more security settings and here you will see this option enhanced data protection. Go in here and this will allow you to encrypt backup data and synced data and this ensures that no one can access your data but you even if there is a data breach in the security and privacy settings if you go in more security settings you will see this option called block USB connections while locked. So the purpose of this is to protect your data, prevent USB devices from connecting when your tablet has been locked for more than an hour. So if you connect your USB and your device is locked for more than an hour, it will not work. Now, if you're using an SD card on this tablet, you can encrypt that SD card as well and secure it. So that is a great option to have on this tablet. So for that, go in settings, go in security and privacy then go in more security settings and here scroll down and you will find encrypt SD card go in here and I don't have an SD card right now but if I have it I can simply uh, tap this button encrypt SD card and all my SD card data will be encrypted if you're giving your tablet away for repairs you can turn on the maintenance mode to protect your data and privacy and you can turn this on by going in settings go in device care and here you'll see this option maintenance mode go in here so what this will do is that it will protect your privacy while someone else is using your tablet, such as when you're sending it for repairs. Only pre-installed apps are available. Personal data, including pictures, messages, and accounts can be accessed and downloaded apps are hidden. You'll need to unlock your tablet to turn off maintenance mode. And when you'll turn off the maintenance mode, everything will go back to the way it was when it was first turned on. Nothing will be saved that happens while maintenance mode is on, such as downloaded data, app installations, or settings changes. So that's really safe way to send your tablet away for repairs turn on the maintenance mode protect your data and safety and you don't have to worry about uh, your data being breached if you want to manage your permissions from one place like you want to see uh, which apps are accessing which permissions you can also do that 
on this tablet so for that you have to go in settings then go in security and privacy scroll down and you will see this permissions dashboard so here if you go in you will see that we have two tabs permissions and apps so permissions tabs basically show you the permissions and then which apps are accessing these permissions so you can go in here and you can see that call logs have been accessed by these apps so then you can go in apps and now you can see which app has what permissions so settings have nearby devices permission and we'll go in gallery so this one has photo and video permission now the cool thing here is that you can go in here you can tap on these permissions and you can rescind them from here as well on galaxy tab s10 fe there is also an option to turn on the secure folder which is basically like a secure vault where you can uh, keep your files and data secure so you can turn this on by going in settings then go in security and privacy then go in more security settings and here you will find this option secure folder go in here and it will take you through uh, the initial setup so you have to go through that and then it will create a secure folder for you so once you have set up the secure folder you can access it in the app drawer you can go in here and now you'll see that there is a duplicate system of apps in the secure folder so you have your camera you have internet contacts my files gallery calendar notes you can also add this plus button and add any app in the secure folder so it's like a parallel system in a secure world on your phone where you can keep uh, you know sensitive data or information in here and keep this information safe you can also download the apps straight from the play store or galaxy store in the secure folder if you go in settings and then go in lock screen you will see this feature called extend unlock so if you go in here you will see what extend unlock basically is it keeps this device unlocked when it's with you so either you are holding the device you are near home or another trusted place or your watch or another trusted device is nearby this device so there are some really cool ways that you can keep um, this device unlocked as long as you have um, an on-body detection you are using the device it's on in your hand so you can go in here and you can turn this on use on body detection so there is this really cool animation and you can read about it here after you unlock this device it stays unlocked while it's in motion like when you're walking with it this device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you put it down then we have trusted places so you can go in here and you can set up some trusted places like your home or your office and as long as this tablet is in those places it will stay unlocked and then finally we have trusted devices so you can add your galaxy watch or maybe add your phone here as long as the tablet is connected to them it will stay unlocked samsung has introduced a very important security feature in one us 7 and it's called lost device protection and you can access it by going in settings go in security and privacy and here you'll find this feature lost device protection go in here and here you will see this option theft protection so if you'll go in here and here you can turn on the identity check so what this does is that it requires biometrics and add a security delay which can prevent a thief from changing sensitive settings on your tablet even if they know your pen pattern or password even if they know your pen or pattern or password they can still um, not change any sensitive settings on your tablet and how you can do that is by signing into your samsung account add your fingerprints and set up safe places if you want to ensure that your internet traffic through this tablet is safe and secure go in settings go in security and privacy and then go in auto blocker and turn this feature on now what this does is that it blocks apps from unauthorized sources it blocks commands by usb cable it blocks malware images and messaging apps and it also blocks non-official software update and then there are also maximum restrictions so if you go in here you can turn this feature on and what this will do is that it will turn on app protection and you can read more about this here it will block uh, device admin apps it will block auto reconnection to non-secure wi-fi networks so this is the new feature here any non-secure wi-fi networks your device will not connect to them and it will block shared albums as well and remove location data when sharing pictures 